Hello everybody and welcome to this video. If you are a PhD pass out and you have some experience in teaching or research and you want to enter into any private institution in India as an as associate assistant or associate professor, then this video is for you because today we are going to talk about one such private institute that is Amity University. We are going to see how to become an assistant professor of biotechnology at Amity University. I am Dr. Vaish Shali, academic specialist at Biotechnica. Biotechnica is a space where we guide you in anything and everything regarding your bioscience career. Come, let's explore the topic. Let's start looking at the overview or let's start with the basics about what Amity University is, right? So Amity University is one of the highly ranked uh, private institutions for both um, science, technology, as well as for business schools as well. And it is also research oriented. Now, why do I call it research oriented? They have uh, more than 6,000 papers published, around 500 books have been published and 600 patents have been filed from the Amity University. So you can see how research oriented they are. So if you are somebody who likes to uh, teach as well as research and you want to enter the private university then yes Amity University is one such option then they have around 4500 academicians like researchers and teachers faculties and scientists as well so yes uh, it's a huge community uh, out there and they have multiple campuses as well so the campus is not restricted to one single place they have multiple campus spread across India and and also abroad. So we're going to talk a little bit about these campuses, about uh, campuses especially in India, right? So there are two different campuses uh, they call. One is the university campus and second is the business school campuses. So the university campuses are 11 in total. That is Noida, Lucknow, Jaipur, Gurgaon, Gwalior, Mumbai, Raipur, Kolkata, Ranchi, Patna and Mohali. Right? So these are the university campuses that is there in Amity University. Right? What about business school campuses? Apart from these universities, uh, they also have business school. So the business school campuses uh, include Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Bhuvaneshwar, Chandigarh, Chennai, Hyderabad, Indore, Kochi, Noida and Pune, right? So these are with respect to the campuses that's there at Amity University. But of course, in this video, we are going to talk very specifically about the biotech field or the biology field. So let's also look at what are the courses that is available at Amity University from the biotechnology or biology background, right? So the biotech courses, that's what we are going to see uh, so that you'll get an idea about, you know, who, which um candidate will you be teaching if you enter as an assistant professor and what are the different options that is available so the first is bachelor's of science which is a four years course bsc which is a three years course btec again a four years course and there are also different integrated courses degrees and dual degrees right so these are the different options or courses that is available at amity university especially in the biotechnology department right so the first let's start with bachelors of science that is the four years course so the various uh, courses again are bachelors of science in bioinformatics which is there in Mohali campus. Second is Bachelor's of Science in Biotechnology, which is there in two different campuses, that is Noida and Mohali. Third is Bachelor's of Science in Medical Imaging Technology, which is there in Noida. Next is Bachelor's of Science in Medical Biotechnology, which is present in Noida again. Then Bachelor's of Science in Zoology, especially the Honors in Zoology, that is also again there in Noida. So these are with respect to the Bachelor's of Science options, right? Next, um, after Bachelor's of Science, we are going to see the BSc options. What are the different BSc biology related courses at Amity University and what are the different campuses that holds these um, courses as well? So we'll start off with biology. So BSc biology 
is there in Gwalior. Then B.Sc. Bioinformatics, which is again there in Mohali. B.Sc. Biological Sciences, which is there in Gurugram. Then B.Sc. Biotechnology, which is there in almost 10 um, campuses, that is Noida, Gwalior, Mumbai, Raipur, Kolkata, Ranchi, Lucknow, Mohali, Jaipur and Gurugram, right? So these are the different campuses in which the B.Sc. Biotechnology is being taught. Next is Microbiology. Microbiology is there in, in Noida, Lucknow, Mohali and Jaipur, right? Next is Medical Biotechnology, that is B.Sc. in Medical Biotechnology. There's also Bachelors of Science in Medical Biotechnology and B.Sc. in Medical Biotechnology, right? So B.Sc. is present in Noida again. Then Zoology, that is B.Sc. in Zoology is again there at Noida, right? So this is with respect to B.Sc. Biology courses. Next is B.Tech courses. Let's see what are the different B.Tech courses available and what are the campuses in which it is present right so starting off with biotechnology so btec and biotechnology just like bsc of biotechnology even btec has um, you know uh, is available in 10 different campuses that is noida gwalior mumbai raipur kolkata ranchi Lucknow, Mohali, Jaipur and Gurugram, right? So these are the different locations at which BTEC in biotechnology is available or there. Next is BTEC in bioinformatics, which is there at Noida and Jaipur. Next is BTEC in food technology, which is again there at Noida as well as at Jaipur, right? So these are the different BTEC options that is there at Amity University with respect to biology courses. They also have a couple of integrated courses or integrated degrees as well as dual degrees. So integrated degrees are integrated BTEC plus MTEC in biotechnology, right? So this uh, only after finishing both of these can you, uh, will you be getting the uh, degree itself and in the degree also it will be mentioned that it's an integrated course. Next is integrated BSc and MSc in biotechnology. The third is integrated BSc and MSc in bioinformatics, right? So the BTEC MTEC course is available at Noida. The BSc MSc integrated is at Mohali and the BSc MSc bioinformatics is also present at the Mohali campus, right? So this is with respect to the integrated degrees of uh, biotechnology. Next is the dual degrees. The dual degrees are BSc and MSc biotechnology, which is there at Noida as well as at Gwalior. BTEC plus MTEC in biotechnology, which is there at Mumbai campus. The BSc zoology and B.Ed, right? So BSc zoology and B.Ed, it is present at the Noida campus. And the last is Bachelors of Science in Biotechnology, that is BS in Biotechnology plus MBA. And this is present again at Noida campus, right? So these are the different biology courses that is available at Noid, at uh, Amity University. So if you are uh, joining as an assistant professor or associate professor, then these are the different uh, options or the campus options that you have. So according to whether uh, your subject is there in that particular campus or not, you will have to uh, apply to the course. So even in the application, it will be, um, you know, this will be available for you that you have to choose which particular position and which particular campus are you going to choose, right? So this is with respect to the biology courses that is available. Now, what is the fourth point that we're going to look at is the application itself. Right now, now that you've decided uh, where you want to do and what uh, course that you want to do, what position you want to hold, the next question that comes up in everybody's mind is about the application. Now, there are two different application types at Amity University. One is a specific call for, for example, uh, there is a position vacant for microbiology, right? A, a faculty position or a assistant professor position that's vacant for microbiology in particular, then they will call uh, call for, for that particular position. So you can come across this position uh, with uh, in their website or in LinkedIn or other social media or uh, all of these job 
uh, forums as well. So the call for will be called over there. So if you want to have a one-stop solution, you can also subscribe to Biotechnica because Biotechnica also keeps giving uh, these uh, you know, call first and these applications very frequently. So do subscribe for Biotechnica, right? So this specific call for uh, will come and when such a call for comes, then uh, it's advisable. So in the call for it itself, they would have mentioned to uh, mail your CV to one particular email ID or you can call or contact to that particular person. So that is how a specific call for is done at Amity University. Secondly, you can also go for a general application. If for example, your position is not being called um, at that particular time, then you can fill the general application that is available in their website. So this uh, is uh, available throughout. So it's uh, something like um, putting across your CV itself. So this general application is available at their website and you have to fill that application form, right? So what is present in this application form. So that's what we're going to see in the fifth point. Um, in the sixth point, we'll be seeing what you have to fill in the application form. But before that, let us also see what is the eligibility uh, if you want to become an assistant professor at, assistant or associate professor at um, Amity University. So first and foremost, uh, this is a very generalized pointers that I've, I've given here, but every specific uh, call for, for that specific department will be different, right? So for an assistant professor, a minimum of two to three years of teaching experience or research experience is a must. Second is for associate professor. If you want to join as an associate professor, then you must have a 10 years of experience, right, in teaching uh, or in research. Research. So, and this is after your PhD. So, your PhD is not counted as that experience time, right? So, after your PhD, uh, whether you have had that experience, right? So, that's what counts. And third is about publications, right? So, it's mandatory that it, you have at least five publications in your name to join as an assistant or an associate professor. So, this also might differ from, um, you know, department to department or from position to position as well. But, uh, one generalized pointer is to have five mandatory publications, right? So these are the different, um, you know, experiences and publications that's necessary. Of course, if you have books and if you have um, other publications or fellowship, etc., all of that is an added advantage in itself. Right. So this is with respect to eligibility. Next, we are going to talk about the application form. So what is the information that you have to put in in your application? So this will help you in uh, framing your CVs uh, in that way, because if you're also an aspirant who wants to, uh, you know, get into Amity University as an assistant professor, then what are the information that is being asked for and how should you tune your CV towards it, right? So this particular point will be, pointer will be helpful in that, right? So first and foremost is the application information that is for what position are you applying and what campus do you want? What is the department that you uh, want to get into, right? So these are the few application information that is necessary. Secondly, your personal information, right? Your personal information, your name, your date of birth, your gender, etc. So all of this will be asked in the personal information. Second is your academic qualification, right? So all of your academic qualification right from the first to the last, right? And PhD is a mandatory to get into uh, as an assistant professor at Amity University. Next, um, you have to talk about your experience, which is again there in the form itself. So you just have to uh, put in, uh, you know, where you have uh, experience and how many years of experience, what was your role like, etc. Right. So all of that, that has to be put in. Next is about fellowship, right. So you need to if at all you have any, you had any fellowship or you have any fellowship, you need to input that as well. Next is about your research work. That is the papers that you've published and what is your area of research. So all of that in detail, uh, the form uh, has to be filled, right? As well as the books, if at all you've published any. So these are the information that is required in the application form uh, whenever you're applying for Amity University. So with, uh, so we've seen around six pointers about you know how to become 
uh, assistant professor at uh, of biotechnology at Amity University. If you are an aspirant and you are looking to enter uh, this particular position at Amity University, then make sure that you have a good CV. Make sure that you uh, give your uh, time towards research. You have a good publications and uh, your area of research and your teaching experience as well. So if you want to get into Amity University, then make sure that you have that teaching experience, this research experience, etc. And then apply to this, these particular positions. And we've also seen what are the different campuses, what are the different courses that is there. So according to your interest, according to your qualification, and according to the research that you want to do, you can apply at Amity University. I'm sure this video was super helpful for all of you. Thank you so much for watching and see you all until next video.